term that white people came up with. Well, I, he knows why I use the word coon, and I debunked that dumb shit he said. He just wants me to explain it again. I'll explain it for y'all because y'all never heard it. So because we were I, just I, talking about mammies too, like because we've seen like in right. But but Brand they, they, they was like calling us mammies and stuff, and that was yeah, also they, they, used the, <laughs> they used the term all out of context. They tried to make they tried to uh, make a different spin on it, but they spin don't make no sense. But the term coon <laughs> actually comes derives from the um, caricature called zip coon. There's a caricature called Zip Coon uh, back in the day, uh, along with um, Jim Crow and, and Little Sambo and stuff like that. They, they had these little caricatures back in the day, and they had the minstrel shows. And within the minstrel shows, you had um, a white people in blackface depicting a person that by the name of Zip Coon. And the caricature of Zip Coon actually went like this. It was, a, it was supposed to have been uh, a, a black person who um, pretty much pretends to be white, thinks they white and everything else, try to speak with, try to speak with proper English, even though they be fucking it up and everything else is down the third. And they, and they think they just as good as white people, but the white people always remind them that they are bottom class. Right. So it's kind of, just, you know, they, you know, they stumbling idiots, right. That, that, but they're white people that are in blackface portraying these bumbling idiots who want to be white. That's why we call motherfuckers coons, because that's what he is. He's a white person in blackface who's a stumbling idiot trying to be white, performing minstrel shows on YouTube. That's what he is. Zip coon. He was a goddamn coon. Before I get to the meat and the crux of this video, I want you to look at the links that is provided in the description box see unlike most people on YouTube who well in this black sector YouTube many of you don't know how to formulate debate so this is an old-fashioned style of a dissection in a deconstruction of a argument of a word so i'm going to dissect and deconstruct of a known pro-black leader in this space the one who accused people of being called the c word so sit back have a drink and I'm going to within a short span of minutes to go in and deconstruct psychopathia's word his favorite word of choice the word coon so in his presentation his big bad chest beating attitude he displayed on the golden goddess channel a few weeks ago he tried to talk about the word the origins of the word c o o n but for me i'm going to go look into where the word came from the etymology and the origins and how it was used you see i'm the person who likes to research i like to look up things i like to do charts and graphs and periodical evidence to back up the words that come out my mouth because i don't do social media definitions i do real life definitions like the word racism it doesn't say white people can be only be racist that it races is a another issue that mr psychopathist loved to use among him and his ilk saying white only black people can't be racist well, it doesn't say that in Oxford Dictionary. It doesn't say that in the Westbrook Dictionary. It doesn't say that in any 
a credible dictionary known to man and plus around the world. But let's look at the the etymology. So what I did, I went to a website called Online Etymology Dictionary. And and it says a couple of things here and I'm going to read a couple of things here and it's been highlighted um so let me read you a couple of things here. It says coon, a popular abbreviation of raccoon, 1742, American English. Now, it's talking about the history of it. But here is the modern day um, term that is being used. Now, insulting U.S. meaning black people, black person was used by 1837, said to be from Barracoon by 1837, from the Portuguese Barracada, slave depot, pen or rough enclosure for black slaves in transit, in West Africa, Brazil, Cuba. So, in no doubt, this is boasted by the erroneous popular blackface minstrel act by George Washington Dixon, who debuted in New York in 1834. Zipcoon. But it is perhaps older. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Perhaps it's older, one of the lead characters in the 1767 colonial comic opera, The Disappointment, is a black man named Raccoon. Hmm. Then I did a little bit digging. You know, I did a little bit digging. So let me dissect this a little bit further. So I went on to the racial slur database, the racial slur database. And let's hear what it says on the racial slur database. Coon, the slur coon represents blacks. Reasons and origins. Refer to the Portuguese word for slave pens. Are barracks. Barracoons could also mean as short as a shortening of raccoon, as raccoons had a, a tendency to steal. Possibly from Dr. Carton Coon, who in the mid 1960s theorized that blacks were less involved by whites. Now, there are a bunch of results in, in the definition. But if you look at the origins in the etymology of the word, it, came, it predates the founding of this republic, the United States of America. So, Mr. Psychopathy Atheist. What you going to say now? See, the thing is, people like you in your corner love to call other black people the C word. Why at the same time complain about white supremacy when that word represents white supremacy? Let's not make this mistake again. Let's not sit there and make this mistake again because, you know, you know, because there's other things you said on that video. I can go on and on and on about uh, the slander, the lies, the the uh, the mischaracterations. So let's not try this again. My name is Big J Triple X. Like, share, subscribe. And I'm going to say this right now. If you think I'm a troll now, 
I'm not playing. I'm out.